Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone this evening? I think I've got my tech situation under control. I've got some better light going on. That was so weird last night. I can't even begin to say. Because uh, I had professional lights on me. Something went really funky. But you just roll with it. So if any of you are wanting to do Facebook Lives, and sometimes stuff happens, you know, you just kind of roll with it. But anyway, so tonight I am Laurieann Robinson. I am a, a fashion consultant and health and wellness entrepreneur. And I've got a great tip for you tonight and kind of um, piggybacks on what I was talking about yesterday. I was talking about, you know, it, your closet. So that's, I'm going to give you a tip for your closet, okay? This is something that all the time when I'm, I'm shopping with clients, people say, what are these things for? And what I'm referring to are these loop-de-loops. You get these pieces of satin ribbon. Some of them are logoed. Some of them are not. And they're annoying. And they end up, you know, you're, you're all dressed up. And the next, it's like having toilet paper on your shoe. You know, you've got this loop, this hanger loop hanging out. But I want to give you the real good facts about why they're important. And it might change your thought process on the hanger loops. Not only is it for, um, you know, like slippery, slidey clothes to stay on the hanger. Uh, things, you know, can, that can easily fall off in your closet and then get buried and then you never find it again until like three years later. And you're like, what is that heap of fabric on the floor? Especially if you have a lot in your closet. So, uh, yeah. So otherwise, you know, normally if you have these, what you would do, I just, that was a little weird, but I'm going to turn that down, okay, is you would wrap it onto that hanger and it keeps whatever it is from sliding off so that that doesn't happen as you're putting things in the closet. So that's, you know, their use. That's why they were invented. And there's different ways in which you can, um, you could put it around the neck of the hanger or you can take them and you can wrap them around the hanger this way. You can wrap them around, if you have a hanger like this, around that little hook, or you can double wrap it around that area. But what I wanted to really say about these things, and I know they're annoying, is when you've got uh, thin strapped dresses, especially if they have stretch in them. These, and knits, anything with a knit, could be a top. These things are what I call the stretch and grow. And I learned this the hard way from my television work. When you have something that is being held up by two little straps, or, well, this is more than two little straps, but it could be just, you know, two little spaghetti straps. It, there's a lot of pressure on the hanger and on the strap. And sometimes what happens, especially if it's a bouncy knit, we get the stretch and grow. And what I mean by that is the arm holes can really, really stretch out. Have you ever noticed that? Especially if you hang something up that may be damp, and then all of a sudden you see it kind of like hanging, and you see the arm holes stretching out. And what happens is that old arm hole will stretch. So, hence... This is where this really comes in handy to take the pressure off of the armhole. If you're doing something that is knit, be it sleeveless or spaghetti strap. So you want to uh, double or triple it around to take, you know, and it will pull up a bit and it will take the pressure off and so your garment will not stretch and grow. So see, they're not so annoying after all when you know that they're, they're very useful. And another thing, if you don't want to use them, if you have a garment that is not stretchy and that you have a really good hanger that you're not going to need to use that, some of them come in different colors. The little, they're really a lovely double back satin. Cut them off and you know you're always needing little pieces of ribbon for something. I use them for uh, decorating or uh, 
wrapping a gift, if I just need just a little smidge of, of um, ribbon, I cut them off. Be very, very careful about cutting them off. And then you can have put add them into your ribbon box. You just, you never know. Or you need a cute little bow on something, a little satin bow if you are, um, you know, making children's clothes or whatever. There's, you know, if you make your own cards, there's a million things you could do with them. Okay, so it's just not such an annoying thing. So, anyway, that's my big tip for the day. So I hope that helped. And if it did, please share this with a friend if you know somebody that would enjoy this information. I love when you guys share. So share the love, and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, happy hanging. All right, bye-bye.